Hello, welcome to Holy Name of Jesus Cathedral. I'm Deacon Mike Ailing. Thank you for joining us for this week's Lexio Divina, where we encounter the readings of the eighth week in ordinary time. Before we begin, let us turn to ourselves, ourselves in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. As we read through this week's readings, um, it, it's interesting that the readings take on a, uh, a very um, introspective character. Uh, remember, this is the last week in ordinary time before we enter the Lenten season, the season of preparation before uh, the Easter celebration. Uh, Wednesday uh, after this Sunday is uh, Ash Wednesday, and it's a time when we should be thinking about uh, reflecting upon our own lives as we enter this Lenten uh, period of time, a period of purification um, where we focus on our own selves, our prayer life, uh, the things that may be getting in the way uh, of our deeper encounter of Christ in relationship with Him. And so you'll notice that the readings as you go through the Old Testament, the New Testament, and of course the Gospel, uh, they're inviting us to look deeper into our own lives and how um, we dispose ourselves to the gospel. I'd like to read something from um, a Bible commentary um, that kind of helped me focus a little bit on this. If there is to be accountability, it must start with ourselves. We often are aware of the little faults in others, such as our children or our spouses, while we ignore our own great faults. Jesus calls such priorities hypocrisy. He calls his disciples to self-accountability. Those who do the best job of restoring others in their walk are those who can restore themselves. That means being able to receive rebuke and, honest, and honestly going before the Lord so that our beam may be removed. Only when we are ready to consider how to help a fellow believer remove the speck from his or her eye. This week as we read through um, the readings, let us take time to focus on the one area within the reading that draws our hearts um, in recognizing that all of these readings are inviting us to look within ourselves at the things that, at the things that may be contributing to the beam in our eye, the thing that prevents us from seeing um, the gospel. Let us then, um, as we pray about it, ask God what he may be calling us to do, what he may be calling us to look at, and think about um, uh, our Lenten practices as we approach Ash Wednesday. Uh, what are the things that we need to fast, um, or fast from, to give up? Uh, what are the things, perhaps, that we need to focus on? And pick one for each, something to give up, something to add. Um, I, brothers and sisters, I pray that your time with the gospel and with the readings this week is fruitful. I look forward to seeing you this coming week as we celebrate the eighth week in ordinary time.